Right, so we're going to do some more clubs here. We're going to be doing the Royal Bermudan Yacht Club and the Stork Club. All right, because there are so many of them. Every, every club had a drink. It's a bit like now every bar has a, has a drink or a cocktail. But in the past it was done. So here we go. We're going to start with the Stork Club. So we're going to talk about the Stork Club cocktail. Now the Stork Club was a very famous and rather sort of notorious club in New York between 1929 and 1965. Uh, it was created and set up by uh, an ex-bootlegger who was from Oklahoma called Sherman Binningsley. Now this club was the club, it was the IT club up until really 1965. It got busted of course for prohibition so it kept on be moving around. The, uh, the mob was involved, the corrupt police forces were involved, there was drug dealers, gun runners and of course Hollywood and major celebrities of the time. In fact it got so big and so popular people like uh, the Prince Rainier of Monaco when he was getting engaged to Grace Kelly had a party there, Edward VII had parties there, uh, it, all of them, the who's who went there for drinking and basically eating and having a really great time. A very very exclusive club, the Stork Club, to the point there was actually a book published in 1946 by Lucius Baby great name and this is the drink it's a bit of a twist on actually the pigu club but this is it from his 1946 the stork club so it is one ounce of gin one ounce cointreau one ounce Orange juice. Try and get some nice orange juice if you don't mind. Half an ounce fresh lime juice. One dash orange bitters. Boom. That's nice. Get a nice glass. Yeah, that'll work. And then Give it a damn bloody good shake. I'm going to do a dehydrated lemon, or you can do some lemon oil over top, orange oil if you want, but there it is. This is the Stork Club House Cocktail. There we go. Mm. Oh God, this is something you definitely have for breakfast. Oh yeah, fantastic. And next up, the Royal Bermudan Yacht Club. Okay, so here we go. So. The Royal Bermuda Yacht Club, set up around 1844 in Bermuda, and obviously it was you know white privilege, colonial people, or whatever usual usual thing in the 19th century, especially in the, the British imperial days. Uh, in 1845, uh, Prince Albert went to the club, right? Had a really good time, loved it very much. So it got its royal patronage, so it became the Royal. Bermudan Yacht Club in 1846 and they also end up having and creating their own drink. Now the actual recipe for this actually comes from the 1947 edition of Trader Vic's Bartender's Guide. Right, so this is it, the official drink of the Royal Bermudan Yacht Club and it is pretty much all things Caribbean. So you're going to have two ounces of rum, a uh, Blanco rum. I'm using a Havana Club because this is I think a wonderful Blanco rum to use. All right, two ounces, right? Then half an ounce of phalanum. Uh, you can get, uh, there's an alcoholic phalanum, uh, P. Taylor 
Falenum. If you can get a bottle, buy it. This I just sort of made myself. I got uh, Falenum syrup and rum, mixed them together, and I created my own. So sometimes it's what you have to do. Half an ounce of the Falenum, okay? Then we're going to do a um, quarter ounce of dry curacao. And then three quarters of fresh lime juice. Okay. Give it a good fucking shake. into a lovely glass. Dehydrated lime wheel would be nice. There you go. The Royal Bermudan Yacht Club. This is a lovely drink. Mm. Oh, that's good. Oh. Thank you very much. Now fuck off, get home safe. Bye-bye.